And fellas, the wait, the sleepless nights. Who will the Saints get a 14? The wait is over. However, I've been preaching that the Saints need offensive line help, but honestly, from how the board was looking, I think we reached. I think Dallas Turner should have been the pick since he was still available. That's just me. Like, I kind of knew they were going to take offensive line, but I would have rather take Dallas Turner since he was available. This has been a wild draft. The New Orleans Saints with the 14th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. The New Orleans Saints select Talise Vuag, offensive tackle out of Oregon State. He is 6'6", 324 pounds. He has an 83 production score, which was 4th. Uh, for the offensive tackle in the combine. Uh, okay, I don't care, honestly. Let me move this. All right, no, I don't need to. All right, so he ran a 5-1-3 in the 40-yard dash, a 1-7-7 in the 10-yard split. He has a 32 vertical jump and a 9-3 bro jump. But now I want to talk about something. All right, let's look at his player bio. So in 2020... He played in four games as a reserve. In 2021, he played in 10 games as a reserve. Then 2022, he was the second team All-Pac-12 Conference, started all 13 games at right, at right tackle. And then 2023, he was the second team Associated Press All-American, first team All-Pac-12 Conference finalist for the Polynesian College Football Player of the Year and started 12 games at right tackle. But yeah, let's look at his overview. So he's a beefy right tackle, capable of playing at a high level despite his lack of ideal pad level and lower body bend. Fuaga plays with a fairly aggressive dis disposition. He's a one-pop blocker who struggles to clinch into his run blocks and is therefore forced to work overtime to sustain and finish. The pass protection technique is outstanding, and he possesses the athleticism to mirror and match edge-to-edge -edge rush movements. Fuaga's handwork is exceptional in pass pro and will need to remain so because of his lack of Desired range for recovering when beaten. A team could slide him to guard to improve his interior protection, but he's best suited at right tackle where he should become a good starter. Let's look at his strengths. He glides into pass sets with controlled slides, ready hands, and quiet upper body. He throws stiff right-left combinations, creating disruption for a rusher. His hands are highly active through the rush, Helping to, to keep opponents centered. He mirrors with fluidity. With little to no stall when changing direction. Flashes the ability to dig in with leveraged hand strikes at point of attack. He gathers and adjusts his track to make his blocks in space. He has a smooth and accurate. And he, well, no, he is smooth and accurate when working from block to block. Okay. Now, let's look at his weaknesses. He pops up tall off the snap and gets behind and backside cutoffs. On first contact, tends to hit and bounce rather than hit and stick. His run blocking is much less organized and technical than his pass blocking. Doesn't have the range and pass sets to secede when tardy out of his stance. And also his, occasion, his occasional issues allowing weight to slide too far out on outside foot. And Washington had some success beating his outside hand and trimming the edge when they played the Washington Huskies last season. S sources, tells, sources tell us 
I see him as a, this is quote, I see him as a very good starting guard. I think you might need to help him against edge speed if he stays at tackle NFC West Coast scout. Yeah. Please, Fuaga. Look, I like him and stuff. I mean... I would have rather Fashanu here. But he wasn't available. Brock Bowers was super close to being available. Dallas Turner was available. Honestly, I think he might have made the wrong pick. I'm not going to lie. I know we need offensive line help, but I don't think he's the guy. His weaknesses, in my opinion, outweighs his strengths. I mean, we'll have to see. Well, the Colts just have to lie to that. Actually, that's good for them. Dang, man. Could have had Dallas Turner. I understand where we were going with, especially since James Hurst retired. But come on now, Fulag. I would have rather than Mario's Mims over him. But I'm going to leave you always with the who that. You can always find me at Hurricane Mike and the Warm Sense my streams. Goodbye.